Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Load Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. All right, so this is looking like it's gonna be fun. So, dual graphics, all of that good stuff. Uh, what was your name? T Wild. Right, this is gonna be fun. <clears throat> Let's see. <coughs> hey, you wanted MSI parts. All right. Uh... Hmm. Did I go with colored cables for one side? I mean, I've gone with the black one so much. Um, it is a um, AMD graphics card. Should I go red? I guess I should. Alright, motherboard. MSI. Because you like MSI. <laughs> and you want a dual graphics card? We're going to give you that. And some other good stuff. Like a 9900KS. And a AIO cooler. To give us some of that good stuff. Okay, let's just start with two sticks and see where I go from there. Storage. Graphics cards. Couple of these. I kind of like this thing about the crossfire though, because there is nothing in between these. Just uses the motherboard. Somehow it, that's it's kind of clean. Then again, the SLI bridge can actually look really cool. Alright, and we got an EVGA Supernova. Alright, now it's just an incomplete case, and... Wow. I have that much left over. Yeah, still a little hot even after all that. And that is 32 gigs of RAM. This is kind of an overkill machine.
might have gone a bit overboard. Just to, to tell you the truth. Well. Let's see if I can get this one too to 5.2 gigahertz. Let's get our software. Just come to think of it. Uh. Yeah, all of these are used. Because I could have easily fit it out in one of these big uh, M.2 drives. Alright. Oh yeah, there are two graphics cards in here, so that might actually heat up quite a bit. I don't really know how the CPU will handle this. Alright. I increased the power. Let's see how that does. So it crashes before I get like anywhere. I also kind of want to know how much voltage do you actually pull. I mean, I haven't even started this and it's already pulling over 200. Well, it doesn't say it's rolling, but it's 99. <laughs> yeah, about 100 degrees. Yeah. Power draw on this is gonna be a um, very high. Okay, it did not like that. Alright, let's see, just pulling the memory down to zero, and it still seems to be a little much, I mean there are two of them, so, uh, what did I go in here, um, but I guess it wasn't like super far up, let's go down to say 80, Okay, now it says the CPU is throttling, so... Uh, let's just go for 5.1 gigahertz, shall we? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then I guess we can bring you down to 1.5 volts. Yeah, 
I got a feeling this is gonna look a whole lot better. Alright, we're not throttling, we're hitting 95 degrees. Which is still quite toasty. Uh, let's just jump up by 5. Alright. Wow. <laughs> really? Like, one up? Because I think 95 was the top, yeah. 95 is the top and we can hit 94. <laughs> Alright, cool. And I'm gonna set you to 255, zero, zero. Which should be red. I mean, that's a lot of RGB in there. I kind of want to have a look at it though. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Kind of wish there was RGB fans though. Yeah, that would probably have been a lot. I mean, I could have afforded it, but still. That's maybe a bit overkill. I kind of want to see what this will do, though. Although I would probably have paired these GPUs with a Ryzen 9 5950X if I wanted to go, like, as high as I can. Still though, I guess this will be good. So I'm just gonna let this run and I will be right back. Alright, there we go. 22,721. I mean, look at the graph, it's got 27,340. That's nuts! I mean, this is a great CPU, but still, imagine having that with a 5950X. I mean, I kind of want to do it now just because, but uh, I probably wouldn't sell that case or that uh, that PC. It would be amazing. Yeah, we overshot it by like 4,000. Still, I kind of wonder... Let's go into the water cooling shop, water cooled GPUs. Yeah, only got 3090s in here. There are no 6900 60, XTs in here. Still though, I kind of wonder how far I can actually push these. I mean, this one is already up at 1800. It's kind of tempting. I kind of feel like I should do a new build for myself too. Should I go crazy and get like the super high end stuff and just put in a case just so I can have as my work PC? Let me know. I mean, I would think that would have been really fun. 
but I mean it's kind of a waste because I'm not really gonna use it. I mean I'm gonna use it to check my emails and buy stuff online. Yeah, that's wasteful. Putting into uh, 6900 XTs and a uh, 5950X. It would be really hilarious though. Alright, the new PC they built is good. Well, it's more than freaking good. It's freaking awesome! That's what it is. Alright, well, with that, I am gonna end up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!